مرحبا بكم. Welcome to Business Middle East. In this edition, we look at the possible scenarios for the euro. And in business snapshot, Egypt opens its arms wide to investments. Are you wondering where to spend your next vacation? Looking for a cheap destination? Then it might be a good time to visit Europe, especially since the euro exchange rate fell last week to its lowest level in 12 years and is now almost on a par with the dollar. Goldman Sachs has forecast that the euro will drop below parity against the dollar by the end of 2016. What if this comes true? So, before you pack, let's take a look at the story. The European Central Bank has begun its quantitative easing program, pumping more money into the economy. The aim is to boost European economies as deflation fears remain high. Last week, the euro dipped to its lowest level in 12 years against the dollar. It's now close to parity as the euro is valued at around 105 to the dollar. At the same time, the dollar rose against most currencies. With the value of the euro in decline, European exports could become cheaper and thus bring more foreign customers to the market, which would support demand for European products and create jobs in the export sector. Tourism may be the biggest beneficiary of the euro's depreciation. Some estimates suggest Europe can expect more visitors from the US and Middle East this summer, as the exchange rate is greatly in their favour. For more analysis on the battle of supremacy between the euro and the dollar, joining us from Abu Dhabi is Nouridin Al Hamouri, chief market strategist at ADE Securities. Hello, Noor. Euro expectations seem low. Is it possible to witness a drop below parity? There is a possibility for the euro to trade below the parity level this year. We're very close to parity anyway, however, a decline below parity will be based on the central bank's decisions. The ECB is buying assets while the Fed might raise rates in June. If this happens, yes, the euro might decline to 0.90. However, if the Fed retreats and keeps the rates lower for longer, the euro may stabilize above the parity level, which is what we expect. What are the challenges facing Europe today with the quantitative easing program? The biggest challenge for the ECB and Europe as a whole remains sovereign debt, which continues to rise. The ECB's QE will increase its balance sheet to where it was before the previous crisis. Therefore, it will be a challenge when the bank decides to unwind its balance sheet. Following the recent movement of the dollar and the Fed, what is the impact of the investment in the Arab region? There are advantages and disadvantages at the same time. The rising U.S. dollar is negative for companies which import raw materials from the U.S. or use the dollar. However, it's positive for companies buying European raw materials due to the cheap euro. In addition to all that, investments from Europe to the Middle East are likely to rise amid the continuous problems in Europe. Moreover, rising rates in the U.S. will lead investors to relocate their investments from the U.S. stock market to Europe or the Middle East as well. Thank you, Noor, for joining us. Business snapshot. Business snapshot Egypt the Future, an investment conference was held in Sharm el-Sheikh with high-level figures from more than 80 countries. Billions of dollars poured into the land of the Nile during the summit, and agreements in the energy sector stole the limelight. Our correspondent Mohammed Sheikh Ibrahim covered the event. Here is the story. Investment deals worth more than 36 billion euros were signed at Egypt's economic conference called Egypt the Future. Besides major Gulf backers, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia and Kuwait, there was also support from the West in the shape of the United States, France, Britain and Germany. Egypt's energy sector drew lots of attention and many huge deals were signed to develop the country's electricity networks.
The chief executive of Oroscom, Osama Bishai, told us the energy sector in Egypt is very important. There's a gap between consumption and production of energy annually, and we're sure to see more demand. For investors, this is a very important area because there's a lot of demand and we know we can't achieve growth and development in Egypt without electricity. The positive point is that the government has allowed the private sector to start initiatives such as contract agreements for the development of power plants and oil and gas platforms. Egypt plans to build a new administrative capital east of Cairo within five to seven years at a cost of around 45 billion euros. Egypt's president was grateful for the support but also stressed that Egypt needs between two and three hundred billion to have real hope to exist. Our correspondent says Egypt now stands poised to receive a major injection into its economy, but now the challenge remains as to whether these ambitious projects will ever get off the ground. That's all for now. Share your thoughts with us on our social networks. Thanks for watching and have a safe trip. See you next week.